Plus, how will Blake Ferenthal's resignation last week affect the 27th Congressional District? Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Mr. Ferenthal's resignation has left the 27th Congressional District without an elected representative up in Washington. A special election will determine who serves out the rest of his term. So the question now is, when will that election be held? Well, our Greg Chandler has been looking into that for an answer, and he joins us now. So, Greg, is there a date yet for that special election? No, Lee, we don't know when the special election, and, and any special election would have to be called by Governor Abbott. He hasn't done that yet. The governor has options, though, but either leaves the 27th without a representative for anywhere between two and seven months. I know in my heart it's time for me to move along. Blake Farenthold already wasn't running for re-election, but the now former congressman's decision to resign last week confused the process of picking the 27th district's next representative. We are now required to hold a special election uh, to fill that vacancy. We cannot go without representation because this is the people's house at the U.S. Congress, the House of Representatives. This special election will be separate from both the May primary runoff and the November general election. The first option is to hold the special election during the next scheduled election. That's the May runoff, six weeks away. Not enough time to realistically complete the process, meaning any special election would be pushed back to election day in November. I cannot see allowing a seat to stay vacant that long because that's a lack of representation, especially in these communities that were hit by Harvey. Upcoming votes on hurricane relief and other key issues could force Governor Abbott to call an emergency special election. That would take place 36 to 50 days after the election is called. In the meantime, 27th District business is being handled by the Clerk of the House of Representatives. The Clerk of the House is a career staffer, someone who wasn't elected and has no connection to the district, leaving the 27th without an advocate. We won't have a congressman's voice to really advocate for issues that may sometimes get pushed to the back burner, issues regarding Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid, people being denied or people needing extra help. I reached out to the four candidates involved in the May runoff today to see their interest in running for the special election. Republican Beck Broonskamp says he will likely run in any special election, especially if he wins the May runoff. His opponent, Michael Cloud, wouldn't comment until the governor calls for the special election. And as for the Democrats, both Roy Barrera and Eric Holguin say they are considering running. Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.